today's video, we will be ranking every single CM Punk action figure made by WWE and Mattel and AEW and Jazzwares. We're going to be taking a look at the WWE Elites and the AEW and Rivaled action figures, putting them all together in one ranking video and ranking them from worst to best. In honor of CM Punk returning to WWE, I figured this is the perfect opportunity to rank his action figures, and he's got quite a bit. I want to say he has almost 20 total AEW action figures from the Unrivaled, the Unmatched, the Supreme Lines, and then when you add that together with the WWE Elite figures that he had before he left WWE originally, he has almost 20 action figures that we're going to rank here today. Again, we don't we don't count basics, Brad. We don't get into the basic figures. It's only Elites, Unrivaled, Unmatched, and Supreme from Jazzwares and AEW, and then of course Elites are from Mattel and WWE. If you've been living under a rock, you don't know that CM Punk did in fact actually return to WWE at Survivor Series 2023 War Games. He showed up at the end of the show, and I figured what better way to celebrate that than to rank all of his action figures, man. So today, let's dive into the criteria over here, man. Let's look at it. At the top, you do have the Go Buy It section. If you don't, if you've never seen a ranking video before, if we put a figure in Go Buy It, that means that I am pretty much putting my stamp of approval on the figure. It means you need to go put it in your collection right the hell now. Right below that, we have Good Figure, which pretty much means that it's it's good enough to be in the Go Buy It section. If you had it in the collection, I would completely understand it. But it's not necessarily just, I, you know, it's just absolute must buy. But I would totally understand if you wanted it in your collection or if you had that figure in your collection. Underneath that, we have meh, which means that a figure is not necessarily good, but it's not necessarily bad. It's right there. In the, I mean, that might as well just say mid. It's the mid tier. It's just like, you know what? Not horrific. Not great. It's it's right in the middle. Below that, we have barely acceptable. Barely acceptable pretty much means for me and my ranking, one thing about your figure is keeping you from the bottom tier, which is like, you know, maybe a head sculpt's good. Maybe it feels good in hand. Maybe it's a great attire. Things of that nature. One thing is keeping you from the absolute garbage. And that's where our bottom ranking is, man. At the bottom tier, we do have garbage, which pretty much means I'm not endorsing your figure. I don't even want to look at you, Brad. You're trash. Get the hell out of my face and move the hell on because you're garbage. It means you have nothing redeeming about you, and I don't even want to look at you anymore. So with those things being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into our CM Punk action figures and rank every single CM Punk action figure from Mattel and Jazzwares from worst to best. All right, man, so it does look like we're starting off with the, I think this is the Chase. This is the AEW Unmatched Series 4. For CM Punk chase figure and really I mean I, I don't know man I guess like this is kind of a mixed bag because there's a lot of different levels to this figure right here I'm gonna put this one in meh and the only reason I'm putting this in meh is because it is the Walmart exclusive unrivaled CM Punk without the AEW hoodie and I'm pretty sure it's it's they charge you more for it because it is a chase figure and so I, I mean I don't, I don't I don't know what to say right it's it's a classic gear but they literally made this into a Walmart exclusive and and like took away the accessories so it's like it's it's like i guess it's solid but it's i don't know like what what would you I, I don't know if you have it in your collection it's probably meant on card is what i'm trying to tell you next up we have the aew unmatched series number four punk now i'm gonna put this one in good figure you know i think it's a solid figure i actually enjoyed this figure a lot when it's first released the only thing that i don't like about the figure is the legs are way too skinny i mean the legs were like freaking like stick men man i mean they, they look like they could snap in half at the blink of a hat man i mean they, it was it was was terrible. Very, very skinny legs, but overall, for a pretty solid football figure, I'd say. Next up, we have a figure that may not even release, and it's honestly probably, I don't I don't even know. We have the Ring of Honor Unmatched Series 8 CM Punk. Now, I ha heard through the grapevine that this is like the last CM Punk figure we're going to see, but now that he's in WWE, is it actually going to release? I don't know, but uh, it's hard to judge. Like, basing off of classic other figures, I guess I'm going to put this one in good figure, and I actually like this one better than the Unmatched Series 4, like, at face value. Like, this is the CM Punk figure that I've been wanting for years and years. So I'm just going to kind of, I, I don't know, I'm going to make an assumption here and just say we're going to be getting the figure. So I'm just going to say good figure. I'm going to go with good figure. You know what? If you have it in your collection, I understand it. If you don't, you know what it is. It, like, if you don't want to go buy it, I completely get it. But I don't know. That one's kind of a up in the air situation, but I did want to add it here today. Next up is the Elite 11 CM Punk figure. And I actually like this figure a lot, especially if you fix it up. There's like some different things you can do. You know, you put a long haired head sculpt on it and then you acetone the chest hair. I'm pretty sure it's like his cash-in gear, which is awesome. So I've done that with a few of them. It's like the Nexus, Team Nexus CM Punk, which is cool. Very damn good. I'm going to put it at the top of good figure for now, but... 
I don't. Can you fix yourself? Jesus Christ. I really like this figure, actually. Uh, there's a story I have about that figure that I don't know if I have the time to get into it, but just know that I found that figure mint on card about like 2016 or something like that, and the guy gave it to me for like 25 bucks or something like that. Unfreaking believable, man. What a what a time to be alive. Next up, we have the ringside exclusive return CM Punk here with the ice cream bar kind of exclusive. This is go buy it. I actually like this figure a lot. It kind of replicates. Like, there's a lot of reasons why you need to go buy this one. I mean, it comes with a cloth good shirt that's not going to stain your figure. It's a CM Punk that doesn't have any wrist tape, so it's like a great promo gear CM Punk. I love how poseable it is. It's is. It's got great packaging. It comes with the ice cream bar, hand like hand accessory, like interchangeable hand. Lots of great things about that CM Punk. It's a damn good Punk. The only gripe about it is it's a little bit too short compared to the other CM Punks from AEW and Jazzwares, but it probably scales pretty well with the Mattel WWE Elite CM Punks that we saw in the past, and probably like moving forward, it'll scale well. So that's one of those that's just really good. You can fix it up. Tons of different options. And also the head kind of sits a little bit low on the neck for whatever reason. I don't know. So there's like some weird things about it, but like it's too good to pass up. I wouldn't pass up on that CM Punk. I would absolutely buy that one. Like no doubt about it. Go buy that CM Punk right now. Use code MD Toys. You can go buy it right now on the Cyber Monday sale. Use code MD Toys and uh, save yourself some, some more money right there. CM Punk ringside exclusive is fantastic. Next up we have the Supreme Edition CM Punk Walmart exclusive. This is go buy it. If, if any moment at all, this is the the best CM Punk action figure ever made, I think, is pretty, it's like, it's debatable, right? There's like plenty of great CM Punk figures that we're going to get into in this video, but I think overall for me personally, it's probably number one, like when you consider the bang for your buck. Now, you may have to worry about staining from the cloth goods, but when you take into account the articulation and the head sculpts and the interchangeability and all the stuff you get and how grand it is, if you find that thing on Walmart shelves or you can find it for the on the aftermarket, that figure is a beast, man. What a great action figure of CM Punk. That Supreme Edition is probably my favorite Punk of all time, but I don't know. It's up there. Like, we're we're going to get into the video here and we'll see at the end, but it's going to be tough and it may be recency bias, right? So there's some different things there, but I love that CM Punk figure. Next up, we have the Blood and Guts Dog Color Match 2-Pack AEW Unrivaled CM Punk figure here. Uh, great figure overall. I'm going to put this one in the second of good figure. I really like this figure for a lot of reasons. I love the head sculpts. I love how bloody it is. I like the packaging. I like that it comes with the MJF, the moment in time, the dog collar. Lots of quality things about the CM Punk figure, but at the end of the day, I don't like how grimy the shorts look. They have like a creamish, dark gray, weird like freaking like bile color. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I, I don't like that part of the figure, and like it's a bit stiff at times, but I think overall, like the bang for your buck, it's damn good. Oh man, I don't know. I really like the Elite 11 though, man. I really do like the Elite 11. I'm gonna put it right there. That's a tough one though, because that's such a good pack and such a good figure that it is ringside exclusive. Again, go use code MD Toys to grab that one. God, that one's tough. That one's really tough on me right there, but I'm going to put that AEW figure right there. Next up, we do have the Elite 29 CM Punk. Damn, this is a good figure, man. This is a damn good football figure. I feel like at this juncture, I'm going to have to put this one. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to put it in the top of Go Buy uh, a good figure right now. Um, very good. Very, very good. Love the hoodie. You can do so many damn fix-ups with that hoodie, man. Uh, solid head sculpt, solid gear. Not the most, I'm pretty sure that was the, that's the last CM Punk that we ever got from Mattel in elite figure form. I don't know if it was his last figure ever. They may have been a basic or a battle pack or something, but that figure is so damn good as an elite. I, I have to put it in good figure and I might have it and go by by the end. At the end, we always, we recalibrate, we go back to the end and we kind of rearrange and see where things could drop and go up and stuff. So we're going to put CM Punk good figure right there, man. Next up, we have a legendary figure, one that I love it is so damn good. We have the ringside exclusive CM Punk with the ECW title. This is go buy it for me. I love this gear, and this is actually my favorite, like, era of Punk when he first arrived in WWE, and, like, he had the long hair and a little bit more grunge to him, I would say. Like, he's always had grunge to him. I don't know, but there's something about him when he first came in, man. I just loved him as a kid, and so that is, like, kind of what embodies this figure, and I love the gear. It's classic. It's awesome. I love the packaging of this figure, even though that's not really... You're probably not going to go buy this man on card. If you're buying it, you're going to get it loose. Uh, very good figure. It, it's good. It's a solid head sculpt. I like the smile and everything. 
I like that figure a lot. I'm going to go buy it, even if it is the nostalgia goggles blinding me. It's very good, and it's probably his best long-haired head sculpt. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll get into that. Next up, we have another banger CM Punk figure, man. Elite 20 CM Punk is so good, man. It's like the Chicago Cubs gear. Holy shish, what a great head sculpt. People want to talk about, like, the Elite 16 CM Punk. This one's damn good, man, especially for, like, that modern or more modern. I don't want to say modern. I guess technically it is modern, but that more modern CM Punk for, like, WWE. Like, holy crap, what a great figure, man. What a great figure. I'm putting that one up here, man. That one's a damn good football game right there. And, like, you could argue, like, this could go above the first dance or the, you know, the ringside exclusive. But well, you, what, for everything you get right there in that punk, that ringside exclusive punk, it's hard to say. But that Elite 20 punk is so damn good, man. Ridiculously good. You'd be a fool to not have that one up there. It's damn good. I'm pretty sure I have two or three copies of that figure. That, that thing's damn good. What's kind of tough, too, about seeing punk figures is it's almost like, you know, he he's so nostalgic. Nostalgic and like there's such a thing about him where it's like all these figures are like go buy it Like if you have the opportunity to go buy it You need to go buy it because you know it's CM Punk and we don't get them anymore So it's kind of difficult to kind of take that like spectrum of like how much you need to get it versus how much you want to pay And like different things like that. I don't know but the next one is the Elite 6 CM Punk and God I love this gear and I love this figure but, like, go buy it? Do you need to have it? Like, I'm trying to, like, really get tedious about what you need to buy versus what's, like, good figure, which, what, I, I think this is a good, good figure. Like, I think, personally, like, I would go buy it, but, like, for you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, but if I had to pick between the Elite 1 and the Elite 6, would I go with the Elite 6, man? So I'm trying to my best to kind of, like, be on the balance being the shish. is hard, man. I freaking love these figures. There's so many damn good ones. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure CM Punk's figures right now are going to go skyrocketing through the roof like until we get like his newest ones and even his newest ones like the Ultimate Edition we're going to eventually get and all these different stuff. I can't even believe I'm making this video right now, man. I'm, I'm about to blow. I don't, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Next up is All-Star CM Punk. I love this CM Punk figure, man. I'm going to put that one above the ringside exclusive. My damn nose is running. I'm about to freaking throw myself out in the yard. But I love this figure. I actually took my existing one. And I put one of the Battle Pack head sculpts with the thicker beard on there. God, it's freaking chef's kiss. I love it, man. It's like, I guess you call it pipe bomb punk, kind of, you know, if you, you fix it up a little bit. But seriously, though, it's a great figure. I love that figure. I love that gear. It's one of my favorite gears uh, that they made in figure form for CM Punk. So we're moving on to the best of pay-per-view. God in heaven, this is such a damn good football game. The gear on this one is immaculate. I love this one with the urn and everything, the shaved head, the gray and purple gear is so sick. I just don't know what to do with this juncture, man. And I'm hoping Mattel releases some of these as greatest hits because there's so many good ones. Like, there's so many. They can pick, like, any of these Elite CM Punks to put in greatest hits and people are gonna buy it up like hotcakes, man. I don't know what to do with this one. This is one of those borderline ones. Good figure or go buy it. I'm gonna put this one at the top of good figure. I really like this gear. I really do like this gear, and I love the Elite Six too. These four figures right here are a could go and go buy it. Like that's how good they are. They're really awesome figures, and they give you like different head sculpts. All four of those figures right there, good figure, have different head sculpts, so it's kind of difficult. But let's move on to the other best of pay-per-view, and this one may shock some people. I'm putting this one in meh. I was never really a big fan of this one. It comes with the megaphone, and I'm pretty sure this is like Mutton Chops Punk, but I was never a big fan of that. Like, the gear's solid. I like the gear. You know, it's solid gear, but I was never a big fan of the head sculpt and stuff, so I'm going to put that one in meh. Uh, on par with these other figures, it's my least favorite of, the, of those, like, of all the punks you can get. And I would just put this one in mid for me personally. And I'm just now noticing that the other best of pay-per-view is not on here. So that's freaking trash. So I will bring up an image of that best of pay-per-view. I saved a photo of it. I know I saved a photo of it, but it's not on here. I'm not seeing. So the other one, the like greenish and red one, I would probably put that one in good figure. Probably lower tier because it's kind of a repaint of the Elite 16 is pretty much what it is. And it's decent enough, but it's not like my favorite figure of all time. But I did want to put that one up there so you guys can see that and judge for yourself there but moving on we do have elite one cm punk and this one for me i'm going to put this one in good figure as well i'm going to put this one below the elite 11 i think i think that it's really good it's a solid i mean it's the first cm punk ever really cool gear really cool shirt different stuff like that it's a good figure the head sculpt is just a sign of the times
sometimes, really. So that one's kind of, you know, it's not the best of all time. It's, it's just, it shows signs of age because of how the head sculpt's like very cartoony. It's a little bit eh. It's not the greatest. I can't wait to see the modern CM Punk like head sculpts, man. Holy crap, I'm so excited to see the Ultimate Editions and different things we're going to get. Like, it's got me giddy right now. I don't know if you can see it, but Jesus in heaven. Next up, we have the Straight Edge Society Ringside Exclusive CM Punk. This is one of the best CM Punk figures of all time. I'm putting it up here near the front. Uh, a lot of people probably have that number one. Uh, head sculpt's very dated, and I know it's a moment in time. It's like a shaved head punk. He comes with a mask. He has the SES on his kick pads, the freaking camo gear, which is in the Supreme as well, which is one of my favorite, personal favorite uh, CM Punk gears that he's ever worn. I love that gear. Uh, I think that uh, it, it might, like, it's probably head and shoulders, like, right tied with these other CM Punks. Like, it, these top three right here are probably top of the shelf for me. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's hard to say. You know, this figure is going to, I I don't want to know what the hell this goes for now. Like, especially men on card. Uh, with his return and everything, I know it's boosted it even more. So it's really difficult to say. But that Straight Edge Society ringside exclusive CM Punk is a damn banger. I mean, it's one of the just nostalgic, classic, super rare, great figures. It's one of those legendary figures in Mattel WWE Elite action figure history. But that kind of takes us into our next one, which is Elite 16. CM Punk, which has to go and go buy it, and I'll probably put it right there below the Straight Edge Society version. Fantastic figure. I think um, I've talked to Mattel about this again. I mentioned it in my video from yesterday, man. This is a figure that it needs the Ultimate Edition treatment. Take that shirt, interchangeable hands, blowing kiss face, smirking face, clobbering time face, go to sleep hands, butterfly joints, send it up the mill. That thing's going to sell like crazy, man. What a great figure. Elite, Six, Elite 16 CM Punk, a lot of people would probably call it the best CM Punk figure of all time. I don't know, like all four of these right here could really have a case. I really do love the Supreme figure. I really do. And I, I'm pretty sure whatever they release as far as CM Punk is, like in this year, like the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025 whenever the hell we see that figure i'm guessing it'll be three months from now we'll see the first cm punk like render image and then a like probably seven months or so from that moment we'll have the figure in hand or whatever and so whenever that is whether it's the very end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025 whatever punk that is it's probably going to go very near the top is what i'm trying to say because it's going to probably it's going to have double jointed arms true effects all those things it's going to top all these CM Punks, I'm sure, so we'll have to see, but the last CM Punk we do have is the Walmart exclusive CM Punk, and I would put this one at the bottom of Go Buy It. I love the hoodie, and it is the Chase figure, but they threw in an AEW hoodie, so I mean, it's it's the classic CM Punk gear, but it's in the AEW formula, and there it is, man. I think this is pretty, I mean, I, I'd say this is pretty good. This is pretty good, and that's kind of crazy that, you know, these figures, that, like, we don't have any barely acceptables, we don't have any garbage. It's kind of wild, to be honest with you, because the they're, like, again, like I was saying, CM Punk's so nostalgic and he has so many good figures that it's probably what it is. But I'd say these are the best of the best CM Punks. And, like, if somebody had these Punks up here or some of these up here, I would totally understand it. But uh, I think this is a good separation right here. Like, we got some beginning of Punk. We got some, you know, some middle of Punk, like the, the Golden Era. We got some really cool classics. I think we captured, uh, captured a lot of stuff right here, man. But I do believe I had all of them, excluding that best of pay-per-view that we touched on. I showed the image of. Pretty sure we nailed them all, so that's pretty good, man. But I think that is every single CM Punk figure, man. We ranked every single one of them from worst to best. And so I think this is uh, this is pretty good. I don't think I'd change anything. Again, you might could like you might could have some fluidity between them. Like some of these good figures could go and go buy it. Some of these go buy it's may go down to the good figure. I would just love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of my ranking of CM Punk, and I would just like to see what you guys think, man. So let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. They usually actually get to vote on these videos, these ranking style videos, but. For this, this instance and other instances in the channel's history, we have uh, kind of done like a surprise shock ranking. So they didn't vote on those, but in the future they will vote on the future ones. So that's the way that cookie crumbles. But a huge shout out to those fellas over there. I always appreciate their support. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. Leave me your thoughts on these CM Punk figures down below. What figures do you hope Mattel redoes or uh, we get in the future, man? I'd like to know those things. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.